Well, COVID has affected my, myself and my family. Um, initially at the beginning, when, when all this came out back in March, where I received a letter from the NHS as a transplant patient and I was told to shield. I think we shielded for about six to eight weeks. Difficult at the beginning, but gradually one, one gets accustomed to it and obviously as information comes in and you start to process it, it gradually got better and better. But it was a tough first few weeks. The hardest part of shielding was probably trying to keep to myself um, and obviously my, my wife found it more difficult than myself because she, she could have gone out but she didn't go out precisely not, so as not to affect me in any way as I'm totally immune suppressed. Um, that was probably the worst part um, that um, my close family wouldn't be able to come and visit me or my grandchildren and uh, my wife had to stay in, in with me. My own personal opinion, and I'm dying to see whether and we are, at least transplant patients are allowed to be able to have the vaccine, is to be, to have this, this Pfizer vaccine and be able to have the, the have at least 95% efficiency against the virus and be able to lead the life that we used to lead before. That would be my, my aim. I think it's important to, to follow public health advice in that sense. I mean, I think in any, at least in my, my background in the fire service, any incident involving a chemical, nuclear, or biological incident, the procedure is the same. Rinse down, wash your hands, so that is it's primordial.